Hello and welcome to another video from Let's Drink Tea. Today we're going to be brewing gunpowder tea, which is a green tea from China. Um, it's characterized by these very tightly rolled leaves, uh, which you can probably not see here, but let's give it a try. Um, not sure if you can see that. Um, but anyways, there's a photo on the website, a close-up photo that will show you that exactly. Um, and to brew this tea, uh, you want to use about two teaspoons per eight ounces of water, but I'd use two smallish teaspoons because these leaves are so tightly rolled, they actually expand quite a bit and take up a lot of space once they're brewed. Um, so since this is a 20 ounce cup, we'll put about five of these smaller teaspoons into here. And that'll be good. Take a look at that. Yeah. I'm going to add another here. There. Just because I brewed it um, the other day and I know about how many leaves should be in the bottom of that um, to get the tea to be how I want it. But I, if you're first starting, I would start with you know, one teaspoon per eight ounces of water and, and just adjust from there to your liking. Um, as for the water temperature, like most green teas, it should be at 80 degrees Celsius. Um, that's about, it's exactly 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the recommended steeping time for this tea is generally one minute. Um, kind of give the leaves time to unfurl and then it's done. Um, but again, that's something you're definitely going to want to adjust. I just looked at this package. It actually recommends two to three minutes. So usually I would go with the instructions on the actual packaging for the first brew. Because I did this yesterday, I know it doesn't, you know, to my liking, it doesn't need one minute even um, for the first time you do it. The second, third, fourth steepings, I'll extend the time a bit longer. Um, I think I got six steepings out of it when I did it the other day. So, yeah, so maybe I guess I could cut down on the amount of leaves, but for me that was actually what I wanted. I'm happy with six steepings, so I didn't really need to cut it down any um, to try to reduce those. And even the last one was still fairly strong, so so yeah, it worked pretty well. You can see it already has the, the color of green tea, so we'll give it one more minute, and I'll tell you actually where the name comes from. It's interesting, there's a couple of theories, because the Chinese name for this tea does not mean gunpowder, it actually means pearl, so just pearl tea, um, which, you know, the meaning for that comes from the, the tightly rolled leaves, obviously. Um, one theory is that gunpowder also comes from the tightly rolled leaves, that it resembles gunpowder pellets, though I don't really see that. A much more likely theory is that it comes from the Chinese word for freshly brewed, which is gang pao de, um, and it obviously sounds very similar. So probably the first English speakers who went to China and had this tea, they heard the uh, servers say that and assumed that was the name of the tea, and that's how it became gunpowder tea. All right, let's take a look here. Ah, uh, yeah, see, it's uh, pretty deep, and you probably can't see that, but when I look in, the leaves have unfurled, but not completely. But for the first brew, you don't really want them to unfurl completely. As long as you've got enough of that essence in your water, then, you know, they can unfurl on the second brew, and, and that way you actually get more steeps out of it. It's one of the reasons I got six the other day, too, because I didn't let it brew for the two to three minutes that were recommended. Um because this is good enough for me. That's that's how I like my tea to look. I know that's going to taste great. Um, so there you have it. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.